What up, y'all? I told you I was going to make some more videos today, so I'm doing it. And um, I was stoked to find this. Me and my good buddy, one of my best friends in life, uh, Chef Dan, me and him went to go get some adult beverages and then uh, went to Toys R Us. And um, I found this Star Wars Rogue One versus 2 pack with uh, Baze Malbus and uh, a Stormtrooper. So pretty stoked to find this. Um, yeah, I, I like Stormtroopers. I've been trying to build a Stormtrooper army again because back in the day I sold a lot of my modern stuff. And um, and I like having uh, extra characters again, um, like uh, Baze Malbus because he looks cool. He looks like you could throw him. Like I'm always saying, Cantina fodder or whatever. Um, you could throw them in in a lot of different mixes and maybe even throw them in with your G.I. Joes or something if you wanted to. Or whatever figures you got, you could probably throw these guys in there with or whatever. And so on and so forth. But um, but yeah, I'm digging on the Rogue One line because you're getting some cool figures. You're getting with some old school stuff and some old school, new school stuff. You know, characters we haven't seen before. And, uh, you know, it's pretty neat. I like it. I'm down. Not going to hate. But uh, it's... Read on in the back. Check this out. Um, Baze Malbus versus Imperial Stormtrooper. Hardened by the harsh reality of his Imperial occupied homeworld, pragmatic soldier Baze Malbus is a crack shot with his heavy repeater cannon, who uses his natural bravado during the occupation of Jedha to face off against the Galactic Empire's deadly white armor encased loyalists, the Imperial Stormtroopers. Makes sense. Makes sense. Once again, it's got a cool app that you can find on Google Play and App Store. Um, it's a fun little app to use. You just take a picture or do like a, a small video clip. I think it's got to be 11 to 14 seconds of your toys or your figures. And um, you can uh, select different things to happen. You know, like an X-Wing flying by or something blasting it or Darth Vader picking something up and dumping it on. You know, it's just a bunch of cool little effects you can earn by... Um, just uh, doing like uh, making little clips you can earn more coins and points and unlock more little videos and clips and features that you can use on your toys so it's pretty fun pretty cool idea and uh, it's pretty neat too because in some of the examples they pay homage to a lot of the vintage Kenner stuff so it's, it's pretty cool that they do that because it's Hasbro and not Kenner you know and uh, anyways I don't want to go into all that but let's check this out because that's two minutes of uh, like a quasi semi whatever rant but um yeah these look beautiful man I, I love the stormtrooper sculpt uh that they're doing these days really really cool really really nice let's pop these guys out with all this stuff uh, check them out And one thing that's kind of cool, I don't know if you guys listen to a lot of podcasts, but there's one I like to listen to called The Vintage Pod that's pretty cool. It's been around for quite some time. And uh, and one thing back in the day that they'll mention, there's different sculptors that did some of the vintage stuff. And some of the sculptors of some of the vintage stuff were, like I said, quite different. And some sculptors sculpted figures more like in a pose, like this guy. So you can see how his legs are kind of off-center. What would be more like, you, I guess I would kind of compare that maybe to I'm, I'm probably wrong but the uh, Hoth Luke or like um, or the cloud car pilot you know and then you had figures that are more static and stood up straight but this guy seems to kind of remind me of uh, for some reason kind of like Hoth Luke because he's kind of off kilter a little bit but, uh, much like that figure was and uh, wow they, they gave you some twisty ties in this thing Got his little cannon thing right here. Oops. Oh man. There's a lot going on in here. Let's see. I'm gonna try to yank these pieces out so I can get it going. Because there's like quite a bit of stuff going on with these gadgets that they come with. So and they don't really give you any instructions. You kind of just have to figure it out. And um If you're bright enough, you can figure it out. If, I guess, if, you know, any kid should figure this out. So, yeah. All right. So before we check the figures out, I want to get this gadget put together. So, yeah, we've got this rocket piece. So we're going to slide the rocket. Ooh, these are kind of softer rockets. It's weird. These are weird. Very gummy. It's 
very strange. That's funny. Those are some strange rockets. Weird. And then once again, you got like a harness piece that slides in, it looks like. But I guess what you could do, what would make sense to do, but we'll do that in a little bit. We'll figure that out in a little bit. And then you've got, once again, you've got these um, handle grips. Where's the other one? And you've got another one that I guess this attaches to his back somehow. And... Yeah, weird. There's a lot going on with this figure. He's got a lot of weapons and a lot of stuff, so we'll figure that out in a bit. But, uh, and then the harness piece. But, uh, yeah, there's Malbus himself. Pretty cool guy. He's got some cool little, uh, dreads or whatever. Kicking. Nice sculpt. I like this sculpt. I think it's pretty cool. He's got some kind of weird, uh, kind of elbow armor thing. But yeah, the sculpt's pretty interesting. See some kind of mesh thing right there. Along his sleeves and stuff. But yeah, pockets. Some boots. Some unique boots or chuck -a boots or something. But yeah, pretty cool figure nonetheless. I like him. And uh, got Stormtrooper right here. It's pretty cool. It's a good Stormtrooper. They've been really killing it with the sculpts. And he's got the cool pauldron, which I forget is like a lieutenant or a sergeant or something like that. But yeah, really nice. And as usual, these are like five-point articulated figures and stuff. So yeah, arms do bend and everything like that. And head does, is on somewhat of a ball joint. So that's pretty cool. And yeah, that's pretty neat. But yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. can't tell like I guess oh yeah here it is cool gun was hiding from me. he does have a gun it's kind of dark in my room right now so yeah but yeah he does come with a little pistol it's not huge like the um death troopers pistol or anything like that but yeah that's kind of weird but uh cool nonetheless so and it's cool because you've got like what you would call in the old school days a sand trooper, but he's not in the sand and he's not all dirty. He's pretty clean, so that's pretty neat. It's not bad at all. And the paint's excellent. Just really good, really good armor builder for these guys. Really, really cool. And um, let's try to get this uh, gadget together with Malus because this thing is weird. You've got, okay, you've got this harness right here that you fit on. So, yeah. And then this slides on like so. Oh. Yeah, you got this whole little slidey thing. I think it's kind of... I think what we're going to have to do is do the opposite that I had to do with Maroff. And Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this one. Some of these gadgets are kind of cool and some of them are kind of hit or miss. So Either that or I'm just not getting them to snap in place like I should. Because my adult banana hands aren't working. Oh. <laughs> I just rocketed off the rockets. Oh, man. This is not... Alright, there you go. It does snap in. But, yeah, you got to kind of put it in the opposite way. Let's see if I can get <laughs> on his rockets. Because they blasted off into the other regions of my room. But yeah, this thing, this is not playing around. This toy is serious. The, the rocket launcher is serious. So we've got the harness on there. It does slide on. Okay. Let me put the gummy, weird gummy rockets in here. Okay. Pretty cool sculpt on this thing, too. Really, really cool. Really interesting handle. Back sculpt is pretty cool. Pretty neat. And, uh, and then that fits on him right there. And so, whoop. This thing has got a hair trigger like you wouldn't believe. Okay. Oh. Get that on there. 
his hands. Oh man, Let me do this off camera real quick because it's kind of a pain. His fingers are kind of weird. They're kind of very strange, if you can see right there. So I'm just going to slide his hand right there because that's kind of a pain in the butt to, to get to work. So you can, I guess you can aim this up and down, I guess, so to speak. And then blast your stormtrooper. So yeah, it works. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool little gimmick. I like it. It's not bad. But kind of awkward. But still cool. I still like it better than the Force Awakens gadgets that you got. And then we've got this thing right here that I'm going to try to figure out where this... Okay, you just attach it like so on his back. This weird piece. That's weird. This thing is weird. It's interesting. And then... There's a blaster rifle or gun. It's a repeating rifle, I guess. And yeah, he's ready to go. It's pretty cool. I like the gun. I like the way he looks posed with the gun. It looks pretty cool. He looks serious like he's going to blast some fools. And yeah, you got this thing. That is interesting. It's an interesting piece. This guy's a cool figure. I have to say I like him. Plus he's got this cool little Boba Fett type cape thing kicking. It's pretty neat. It's pretty cool. Can't say I don't like it, but yeah, really cool. The rocket piece is kind of weird. That's that's something, I don't know, that's something you got to figure out or play around with a little bit more. But yeah, pretty crazy. But anyhow, that's a look at the Baze Malbus and uh, Imperial Stormtrooper versus 2-Pack. Pretty cool. I like it. I think it's worthy. Um, if you can find it, get it. I just saw it today and I hadn't seen it before. But anyways, as always, thank you. appreciate you watching the videos and stuff, commenting or whatever, liking or not liking or whatever. It doesn't matter. Just videos. But anyways, um, y'all have a good one and may the force be with you. Alright, peace.